In this video, I will show you a non-repainted version of the Nadaraya Watson indicator that will be making you profits like this consistently from trading crypto, stocks, or Forex. This indicator is very simple to read. However, not a lot of people know how to make the most of it. And that's why I decided to share my personal scalping strategy with you today that will instantly make you a profitable trader. I will also backtest this 100 times on the price of GBP versus JPY on a one minute time frame so that you can know all the metrics behind it. So make sure you watch this video all the way through because I'm going to explain this strategy in detail and give you a bunch of important trade examples. So for this strategy, you first need to head over to tradingview.com and open a chart of any market that has a high level of liquidity. The next step will be to select your time frame. This strategy works well on all time frames, including the five minute, the 15 minute, and also our one day. Okay, once you have the time frame selected, you need to come up here and click on your indicators tab and search for your first indicator, which is called the Nada Raya Watson Envelope Non Repainting by JD Horty. This tool is used to outline the extremes made by the price within the selected window size. When the price action exceeds the envelope, this is a signal that the market is either overbought or oversold. The main goal of this tool is achieved by estimating the underlying trend in the price using long kernel smoothing, calculating the mean average deviation from it, and adding or subtracting it to the estimated underlying trend. The theory says that we can expect the price to reverse once it crosses one of the envelope extremities. The main difference between this indicator and the Nadaraya Watson by Lux Algo is that this one does not print the triangles whenever the price action enters the cloud. There are multiple ways how traders can use this tool. For example, a lot of traders would enter a long position as soon as the price action enters the green envelope and then crosses and closes above it. Exactly opposite would be true for short trades. Traders would wait for the price action to get into the red zone first, and then as soon as the candlestick crosses and closes below it, they would then place a sell order. I personally do not believe in this method, as I do personally think it is quite risky. Instead of that, you can use a different approach, and with this one, the risk of getting stopped out is really low. But the Nadaraya Watson envelope is not the only indicator we're going to be using. So you need to come across to our indicator tab, and for our second indicator, we're going to be adding the higher high, higher low strategy, which is this one here. Now let's make some adjustments to our settings. In the style section, we're going to be removing everything but higher high and lower low. Okay, the setup is ready. Now let's understand how we would place buy and sell orders based on this strategy. So the conditions for entering a long trade are as follows. First, the Nadaraya Watson baseline must be colored in green. Second, the price action must be positioned above our green line. Third, the price action must make a pullback into our baseline. During such pullback, the candlestick must not cross and close below our baseline. This is very important because if it does so, the pullback is automatically invalid. Fourth, after the pullback, we're going to be waiting for the price action to cross and close inside our red cloud. As we can see, the market entered the cloud at the very next candlestick. And our last condition is to have our current price higher than our previous higher high that was printed on this indicator. If by the time the candlestick enters the cloud and the price is lower than our most recent higher high, then the trade will automatically be cancelled. The stop loss can either be set at your baseline or at your most recent swing low. Usually when the candlestick is touching your baseline, it is recommended to set your stop loss at the most recent swing low. The take profit target will be set at one and a half times the risk. All right, here is another example. We see that our baseline is green in color. The price action made a valid pullback into our baseline. The candlestick touched the line, yet it didn't cross and close below it. Then we see the price action managed to enter our red cloud, and the current price is higher than our most recent higher high. So we'd be entering our long position on the close of our trigger candlestick. You can either bring your stop loss to the baseline or our most recent swing low. And once again, we will be targeting 1.5 times the risk. As we can see, this method can give us really accurate trade entries. Here's another valid entry. We see that all of our conditions were met. 
and this trade also turned out to be profitable. Okay, now let's understand the rules for entering a short trade. First, the baseline must be colored in red. Second, the price action must be moving below our baseline. Third, the market must form a pullback, and remember the candlestick can only touch our line, but not cross and close above it. After the pullback, we're going to be waiting for our price action to cross and close inside our green cloud. And most importantly, when the candlestick enters our green zone, it must also break below our most recent lower low. So we can safely enter our short position on the close of our trigger candlestick, then bring your stop loss up towards your most recent swing high, or you can have it as your baseline. Really does just depend on how you want to trade the strategy. But then once again, we are gonna be targeting 1.5 times the risk. As we can see, this strategy eliminates the ranging markets really well. The candlesticks usually do not enter our green or red areas during this time. Once the markets start trending, we see that we get some really good entries. Okay, I hope you have understood the rules for this strategy. Now let's move on to the backtesting to find out how profitable this strategy really is after 100 trades. Okay, the backtesting is now complete, and here are the results. The win ratio for this strategy turned out to be 76%. This is really high for a one minute time frame strategy. We also increased our account size by 442% profit, which is absolutely insane. But remember when trading live, these results will differ due to fees and spreads. The profit factor for this strategy is 4.28, and we had nine consecutive wins against five consecutive losses. The max drawdown was 7.76%. So yeah, the backtesting results look really promising. Definitely give this strategy a try. If you have any questions about it, please ask down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all. Peace.